NBA star Josh Giddy with the Oklahoma City Thunder coming under fire following allegations he had an inappropriate relationship with a high schooler. The NBA says it's investigating claims that the 21-year-old Oklahoma City Thunder guard was seen in suggestive pictures on social media with a high school junior. Those photos and videos have since been deleted. Giddy has declined to comment on the situation as he continues to suit up for the Thunder despite the NBA's uh, ongoing probe. Let's dig deeper with News Nation Law and Justice contributor and former FBI special agent Jennifer Koffendoffer. Um, you know, Jennifer, I think it's fair to first say that at this time, there are still a lot of unknowns about this high schooler, right, who posted these photos because she is allegedly underage. But there are certainly a ton of questions surrounding these accusations against Giddy and what he did or didn't know. Could you first just get us up to speed on what we do know about the case and the NBA's investigation? Right. Well, right now, the NBA has opened an investigation, and the allegations are that he was with someone that was underage, meaning 15 years old. But there are other reports that she was actually 16, and in Oklahoma, 16 is the age of consent, which would make him not liable legally, but certainly from a moral viewpoint, uh, certainly his sponsors who have already taken him off their social media this could be devastating for this young man's career. Yeah, he is also at risk of losing a $40 million sponsorship from an Australian uh, cereal company. As you mentioned, age of consent in Oklahoma is 16. The age of consent in much of Australia, where he is from, is also 16 years old. Initial reports have claimed that he met her in a club where she was pretending to be an adult. If that's the case, where she lied about her age, maybe had a fake ID, who knows, could he and should be should he be shown some leniency here? And could it be possible he didn't know that he was breaking the law? I think if he can prove that he didn't know how old she was, that she was only 15 or 16, that she was in high school, uh, I think that there could be some leniency here. Those are some big questions. And I do think, though, Marky, by his response, it just looks so bad. Just say that. Listen, I thought she was 21. I had no idea. So that makes us think, hmm, did he know? Yeah, he uh, twice uh, declined to comment at a practice recently. Uh, and also the head coach said no comment at this time. He's still going to suit up. Uh, Jennifer, I know, you know, I, I noticed a couple nights ago you took to Twitter uh, to call Giddy out saying you think he should face statutory rape charges and register as a sex offender if he's convicted. Do you still stand by that or is it too early in the investigation to know? I stand by that if, again, he's convicted. If he knew she was 15, if he was having these relations with a 15-year-old, just because he's an NBA star, rookie of the year, all of that shouldn't get him off the hook. If you statutorily rape a 15-year-old, you need to serve those consequences. And as you know, there are certainly people and fans all across the spectrum uh, of opinion on this one, people who agree with you. And then there are fans who greeted him with thunderous applause when he played on Saturday night and entered that arena. Uh, Giddy has been allowed to play as this investigation continues. He's expected to play tonight against the Timberwolves. Uh, is that the right move by the NBA to treat him as innocent until proven guilty? I think it is the right move. There's a lot of uh, unknown details and facts right now. And so until those come out, I don't think they can uh, suspend him. Uh, but certainly I would expect the fans to welcome him because they want to win. And he's a huge part of that. This isn't a bench warmer. This is a guy who really contributes 12 points a game, uh, six rebounds almost as a, as a guard. So he's very valuable to their franchise. So I'm not surprised. Yeah, every time you pull into Oklahoma City, he's always on, you know, one of the main billboards. However, a lot of people are saying, you know, he's not that important to the league as a whole to not be able to bench him for a few days while this uh, investigation is ongoing. We'll see what his uh, welcome looks like tonight in Minnesota. Jennifer Koffendoffer, thanks so much, and we'll continue to follow this closely. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.